It's your boy Conservance 34 and I want to talk about the Dave Matthews show that was in LA yesterday, September 11th, presented by SiriusXM and Pandora. This was in the brand new studio that they have for SiriusXM in Los Angeles, and it was on again September 11th, 2019, which was yesterday as I record this video. This was a show that I just listened to. And if you have the SiriusXM app, you can actually click on a picture of the Dave Matthews Band radio and it'll allow you to get to the, the recording on demand. And now it's going to have a couple songs that you have to warm up, but you can skip those songs with the skip feature and then get to the meat of the actual Dave Matthews Band performances in these studios. There were also reports from fans there that this was also recorded, so I'm sure either on a special SiriusXM plan or some t somewhere down the road we'll see a video of this if it's not already up by the time this video is uploaded. But I was excited to listen to this. You know, I hear this all the time when I have critiques about the sets from the full band. Be grateful the band's torn. Da -da 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 -da. Be grateful the band's torn. Look, I'm grateful the band's torn. But the problem with the band right now is I can't hear Dave on some of these songs because you have Tim playing the same parts, mirroring Dave's parts on Warehouse. You have Rashawn playing the horn so freaking loud and so freaking high we can't hear Dave. And on Satellite, which is a song that people go to the bathroom to, and I'm not the biggest fan of Satellite, but Satellite has some of the most beautiful parts of Dave Matthews, uh, but you can't even hear Dave Matthews ever in the full band because Tim is playing these annoying parts really high up and then you have all these other band members playing over him in the chorus. But alas, this show is what I'm grateful for. I'm grateful anytime I can hear Dave Matthews play his guitar and sing with either just a little bit of Tim accompanying him like I did last year at Farm Aid or just Dave Matthews by himself. And you know what I would want more of if I had the ability to vote or pick what the band could do? I would rather have more Dave and Tim shows throughout the year. And I'd rather have the ability or the, the be blessed to be able to listen to Dave Matthews in an intimate room or an intimate theater with just him. Sure, it's not the full band. I'm sure listening to it at times, I'd be like, oh, I wish I could, some of these songs I could have the full band in. But the problem with the full band that I don't like about this current model and era of the band is you can't hear Dave's guitar. And alas, we hear Dave's guitar for a series of songs. Um, I won't go through the set list, but I wanted to point out some key things that I just really, really liked. Okay, first, So Damn Lucky um, just sounded amazing. It's a great song with intricate parts that when it's just Dave, you can hear. Another great part of this was Virginia in the Rain. Now, Dave has done this solo encore one spot where he plays Virginia in the Rain. I thought it was coming to the gorge. It did not. But it's so beautiful. And it's a song that I actually want to hear more with the full band. But it's beautiful with just Dave's guitar and his voice. It was awesome to hear that pairing of the vocal parts and just Dave strumming his chords at a nice little pace. Uh, playing this beautiful song that should be played more in all different iterations that Dave Matthews takes place in. Um, he mentioned in this uh, performance, he talked in between some of the songs, he talked about Save Me being about the great neighbors he's had in Virginia, and then now in the Seattle, Washington area. Uh, and then he did talk up and during Do You Remember about how he used to play, he likes playing the, the verses uh, with his fingertips, it sounds nice and crisp, but when it gets to the strumming parts, it's a little harder to play and it's more of a pain. So he just switched to doing the entire thing with the pick and it was hard to switch between the pick and the chorus and the fingertips that he plays, do you remember, with uh, for the verse. So he just pick all the time. Um, he did mention the Bohemian refugees out of the Bahamas that were devastated and he said, you know, that he, I think we should be helping them. We should bring some of them over to America and put roofs over their heads temporarily. He said, I have a room available, I guess referring to his house. Um, another part that he mentioned, and I've heard this before, O is about his grandfather. That's his mother's father. That's his grandfather on his mother's side who, um, you know, his fa I guess his grandfather had long life, but his grandmother um, had either Alzheimer's or dementia. I can't remember which one it was. So this song is about his grandfather's love for his grandmother um, during the time where she started to have that change in how mentally she was and then eventually passed before uh, 
Dave's grandfather passed. So, um, you know, just a really cool thing that I've heard. He's mentioned that in another show I went to, not into that extent, but I had heard that before. Um, but this show, I highly suggest if you have Sirius XM Radio, click on again, go to the the website version, the, the media player or the, the internet browser version. You can click on the, the Dave Matthews Band Radio uh, like a little picture and it'll allow you to hit that and it'll play it from the beginning and there's a couple warm-up songs then you get to the meat of what what Dave is doing um, also if you if you're thinking about subscribing you can get three months free if you're a first-time subscriber and the band has decided to extend Dave Matthews band radio till October 15th um, I'm assuming they're gonna have some Friday night streams of songs from the past and then Brazil Falls on a Friday. One of the Dave Matthews Band shows in Brazil falls on a Friday. So maybe we'll get that. And I believe Brazil is either one or two hours ahead of the Eastern time zone, to my knowledge, depending on daylight savings. Um, and I'm a geography guy. I should have researched that before. <laughs> but um, so we'll see what happens there. But I love this show. Listen to it. Listen to it if you can. And I love Dave Matthews with just his guitar. No disrespect to Tim Reynolds, no disrespect to Rashawn Ross, but look, they play over him way too much in the full band iteration. They they play too loud nowadays, and when you have a I'll back you up in the mix of this, you have a Gray Street where you hear just Dave's parts, where you have a Crush where Dave did a great job playing Crush. This was a show that, yes, you know, there are songs that are my favorites, You and Me and Do You Remember, but they sound better with just Dave. Okay, no offense to the full band. They sound better than newer music Come Tomorrow too, which I go to the bathroom to during the shows. It sounded better with Dave Samurai Cop, same thing. And this is one thing, you know, I talk about not liking certain songs or prefer not to have songs. If I go to a Dave Matthews solo show, I'm not going to be mad. I'm going to appreciate the moment. I don't care what set list he plays. He could literally play the phone book. Sure, you know, I'd prefer him to play other stuff from his catalog, but I would still enjoy his guitar playing intimately with him singing, which is to me just so, so buried in what this band has become for better and for worse. The band makes you dance and makes you move, but I love Dave Matthews' parts. He's written so many parts you can't appreciate because you can't hear him. And this Sirius XM stream will make you appreciate it or remind you of what he's actually doing, how difficult what he does is, um, you'll be able to hear it. It's your boy, Constavis34. Definitely like, comment, subscribe. Again, Sirius XM, DMB Radio extended to October 15th. So again, if you haven't signed up yet for Sirius XM, get your three-month trial. Check out Grateful Dead Radio. Check out Jam On. They're not paying me to say this. These are things that I like on this platform uh, that I am currently subscribed to and will try to listen to through October 15th and go from there. All right, that's it. Peace.